In this podcast, I will discuss hepatic metastases. The liver is the most common site of metastatic disease in the body due to two primary routes of hematogen spread. The portal vein receives all of the mesenteric drainage from the GI tract, and there are a number of different GI tract tumors which will spread hematogenously, depositing predominantly within the liver. The hepatic artery receives blood from the systemic circulation, and tumors outside of the GI tract can spread through the systemic circulation to the liver via the hepatic artery. The liver is particularly susceptible to hematogenous spread of metastatic disease due to the fenestrated endothelium of its vessels. Hepatic metastasis will have a wide variety of appearances that are based on the primary tumor type. When a metastasis within the liver is described as hypovascular, that means it enhances less than the surrounding liver. If it's described as hypervascular, it means it enhances more than the surrounding liver on at least one of the phases of contrast. Metastases to the liver are typically multifocal, and that helps distinguish metastases from primary tumors of the liver. Metastases from the GI tract are more common in the liver than metastases from sites outside of the GI tract. When deciding what imaging modality to use to detect or characterize suspected metastatic disease, MRI has the highest sensitivity and specificity. If CT is used to screen for metastatic disease, it is important to identify the presence or absence of hepatic steatosis because hypovascular metastases may be difficult to identify in a background of hepatic steatosis. In this example, the CT only demonstrated one or two vague hypodensities. An MRI was recommended for additional characterization, and the MRI demonstrated greater than 20 metastatic lesions throughout the liver. In this case, we have a portal venous phase CT, which demonstrates multiple cysts throughout the liver. This is a patient who has neuroendocrine tumor, and they're assessing the liver for metastatic lesions. If you did not get an arterial phase, which I am now showing you on the right-hand side of the screen, you would not realize that there are numerous hypervascular masses consistent with metastases throughout this person's liver. This case serves to remind you to obtain three-phase or multi-phase CT and MRI imaging when evaluating masses within the liver. In summary, hepatic metastases have a wide range of appearances that is related to the primary tumor type. You should use multi-phase contrast-enhanced CT or MRI to improve your rate of detection. And overall, MRI is the most sensitive and specific modality for detecting and characterizing metastases within the liver.